मैक्सिमम लोड की जरूरत हो सकती है So this is my thread break sensor. You can see that from this area, well, thread will pass through it. It will detect the break in my thread. And here is my LED indication. When the thread will pass through, the LED indication will go on. This is my NPN type sensor, NPN NO, and I will do the connection accordingly. This sensor work have a voltage range 5 to 40 volt VDC. It is its operating range. Its sensing range it is given 15 mm. Here is the sensing range, and the maximum load it is 300 milliampere. And now I will do the connections. Now let's have a look at this connection. This is a control unit. It converts to 20 volt VAC to 24 volt VDC. Positive, negative, and the output. Positive wire of the sensor, which is brown wire, is connected to the positive point, 24 volt VDC. Blue wire is the negative wire, which is convert connected to negative point. Black wire is the output which is connected to the uh, output, and it is internally connected to the relay of NPN type. I have made the NPN connection. You can see that NPN output. So when the target comes in the sensing range, the NPN relay would go on. And using this relay, we can further control any other load. So this is my thread break sensor. So now I will show you the application. So what I will do is that I am assuming that this is my thread. and when the thread moves and wounds up the reel of the thread so it vibrates like this in industrial it is the real application for that and i'll use this sensor to detect the thread so when i use it and make the vibrations the sensor senses and when there is no vibration which means the the yarn is not or the thread is not wounding up the reel so there will be no output only the output will be given when there is vibrations you can see that when there are vibration in the sensor it gives an output and when there is no vibration there is no output so what happens suppose the thread is vibrating and some uh, malfunction happens is that the thread breaks so we can see the thread breaks so what happens is that we will not get any output at that point so this sensor comes out very handy when for the application of thread break sensor usually it is used in textile industries we can also say that this is a thread break sensor and and that's all we need to know about the thread break sensor so guys please do share the video and i hope this industrial application is clear to you and please do follow me on instagram also thank you guys